Hi everyone, welcome back to episode 3 on building our tic-tac-toe game with PhaserJS and the camera. We're going to start with a little bit of theory on how client and server authentication works. When a user connects to an camera server, we need a way of telling the camera to validate the user and authenticate them on the server. The camera does this by implementing JSON Web Tokens, or for short, JWT. JWT is a way of communicating information securely between the client and the server. The way it works is whenever a client or user sends a login request to the server, in our case, the camera, the camera will create a JWT token for that user. It sends this JWT token to the user, then the user stores it in either a session or a cookie. Every time the user now interacts with the camera, for instance, wanting to search for a game, the user will send this token to the Nakama server saying, hey, this is my token you gave me. Can you validate and check that it's authentic? Nakama will then do some authentication checks. And if it's a valid token, we'll continue processing the user's request. In our case, search for a game. Nakama has made it really easy for us to authenticate players with a lot of different services. Out of the box, it provides us with device authentication, email authentication, and even social logins such as Google, Apple, Facebook, Steam, and more. On top of that, you can also link multiple social logins to one user at the same time. So a user can log in with Google, a user can log in with Facebook, but still have only one account in their game. Okay, well, let's actually start implementing uh, authentication into PhaserJS and the camera. First, we need to get the Nakama JS library, and we can easily do this by installing it with NPM. Let's start first by connecting our client to the backend server. We can do this by calling a new class system of client and giving in our default key, server address, and the server port number. Now, these are going to be most likely the same for you, but remember, in production and when your game is live, these will definitely need to be changed. But we're not done yet. We need to actually tell the camera how we want to authenticate the user. And in our case, we would like to use device authentication. Device authentication requires us to have a unique ID per every single player and device. We can first check if the user has a device ID in their local storage. And if not, we can create one easily with this line of code. I've opted to use the UUID library, which you can install with this command here, which generates a unique but random string of letters and numbers to be assigned as their device ID. After we've done this, we can call our authenticate function, giving it our device ID and whether or not we want to create an account for the user in our backend. Now that we've authenticated our user, we can start communicating between the client and our Nakama server. The way we can do this is by using WebSockets. WebSockets allow us to have a persistent, real-time communication to and from our server. This means we can send real-time data to Nakama and also receive real-time data to PhaserJS. We can create a socket connection to Nakama using this line of code. We'll give it our authenticated session and we're good to go. With that setup done, we are now ready to start talking about the actual gameplay of our tic-tac-toe game. In the next episode, we're gonna be going over authoritative multiplayer and how we can connect two PhaserJS clients together. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next episode.